you are new here, I am Kanitia, and if you are already watching my One Piece Chill channel, then welcome back! Today I want to talk about possibility of a new Nakama in our crew, and there will be some spoilers, pretty major ones, to be honest, in this video. If you are not reading manga, if you are not up to date with manga, if you are an anime only watcher, then please beware of spoilers. Well, as we know, there are only two girls in our crew and I think many people would like there to be more and as of now, during one arc, we actually have about three candidates, like more of a solid ones, these are Yamato, Otama and Carrot. I want to basically tell you my personal thoughts on who I think could join and who I would like to join, but also I will discuss like their backstories, their goals, their possible role on the crew, and from that you can also draw your own conclusions. Who do you think could become a new Nakama? Or maybe it will be none of them, maybe our crew is complete, there will be no more new Nakama and only more members in our grand fleet. So let's begin from Yamata, recent favorite. There are some different opinions about Yamato's gender. I don't want to get in this topic of gender in this particular video. In this video I will call Yamato she because as in my eyes she is a girl, she just wants to be a man to represent Odin, not because she actually wants to be a man, she just feels that she needs to put on this facade, this mask, this role. I talked about Yamato in other videos, so without further ado, let's talk about the possibility of her joining our crew. Well, first of all, let's talk about invitation. She was not invited by Luffy, but she basically basically invited herself in as a Kazuki Oden, so we kind of have this covered. Then her backstory. She doesn't actually have a very tragic backstory, but she has a pretty fucked up childhood because her father was beating her up, she probably has some mental issues because of that and she wants to be Kazuki Oden because she witnessed this crazy death of Odin, this crazy execution that I bet was terrible to watch. So this can be a trauma for her. It is not like an easy childhood for her. And yeah, her father like not honoring her wishes to become Odin of course and beating her up and being an alcoholic, basically not a good father. Even though we don't know much about her, we can say she has to be pretty strong from what we witnessed, so she will bring a lot of raw strength to our crew, something that we really need right now, because our opponents are getting stronger and stronger, our quest is getting more difficult, so we need someone strong. And also her role on the crew, I think the most interesting thing, because I actually like thought of a role she could have on our crew, she would write the logbook. I think it's obvious because she found Odin's logbook, she wants to be like Odin, she wants to represent him, continue his will, so probably she would want to write her own logbook, maybe once she understands she doesn't have to be Odin, she can be herself, then she starts her own logbook and this will be her dream. Instead of opening the borders of Wano, that is actually Odin's dream, maybe she will find her own dream to travel around the world herself or basically to go to Raftel and write her own logbook about this. So this is kind of covering the dream, because if her dream, right now it is stated, it is to open borders of Wana, but if it's completed by the end of Wana arc, then what is her reason to go with us? She will need a new dream. And then diversity she brings to the crew and dynamics she brings to the crew, I think are the most interesting things here, because she's very unlike Nami or Robin, so she brings 
a very different girl persona to the crew and also her dynamics with Luffy already funny and you can imagine how cool it would be to see her interact with other members of our crew she's very tall strong she has a cool design she has a cool personality if she still believes she's Odin there are bound to be some funny little jokes about this that will bring some comic relief that Oda always uses. Basically that's it about Yamato joining our crew. I'm not really sold on Yamato to be honest. In my eyes she's more like pudding of this arc. She might, she will become our ally it looks like. She might even join somehow a grand fleet with some people that will remain under her command. I'm not sure like beast pirates after Kaido dying some of them might join her and just have their little redemption because we don't see them as nice people but maybe some of them can actually have a change of heart and join Yamata and be our allies. So personally I don't really see Yamata joining our crew but I wouldn't mind that because I love her and enjoy her character a lot. Next is Tama. We have quite a lot, honestly, going on for Tama. She has that connection with Ace and Ace promised to bring her in this adventure to get her on his ship so she can sail with him. And since Ace is now gone, Luffy has to continue his will and has to fulfill this promise that Ace made to Atama. So he will have to bring Atama with him on this adventure. And also about her role on the crew, it's really hard to say. She might become like another chopper someone cute but chopper also has a role of a doctor dama is not very strong and though she will bring diversity of course because she's very unlike other girls she's very small her design is super different so she will not, she will easily be distinguished from nami and from robin and of course her personality also we can say is a bit different from theirs and she also has a dream to become a kunoichi and this dream can help us understand her possible role on the crew. She can be this ninja, this female ninja Kunaichi, that will get some intel for us, that will just go somewhere in hiding, in stealth, get some info, report back to us. It is a dangerous task for a child, but I can see this happening somehow. So technically we have an invitation that came from Ace, so she's kind of invited on our ship, on our crew. Uh, we already saw some of her dynamics with our crew. We know Zora and Luffy care a lot about Atama, she's very important to them. She has a dream to become a Kunaichi. She has kind of a sad backstory because, well, <laughs> you can see probably like her parents are dead. We don't know nothing about her parents. I had a theory that grandpa hell is her grandpa but so far there are no more evidence to this theory so we can assume she has no one basically she lived in this poor village and then she didn't have anything to eat and it was a very tough childhood for her and her country was invaded by these beast pirates i think we could say that this backstory she kind of has covered and her dream, her dynamics, everything like except for her strengths but if she's here to gather intel maybe she doesn't have need a lot of strengths and she might be a strong opponent against zones she can use her power on them like help us with some animals and all of that but also that kind of binds her to this one arc because she has to be a very important player in this game since she is so strong against these maybe zones but 
obviously smiles we know about smiles that she can make them her servants basically using her fruit so it makes her very important for this arc but can she really like go with us after one especially since she's so small she's just a child and she also has this bond growing with mama so all of this makes me think she will stay in one maybe she will marry mama at some point maybe she will become kunoichi and once she's older will come back for her and she will join our crew somewhere like after the main story ends so in my opinion tama probably will not join our crew right now i think the possibility is very low last but not least is carrot and i believe carrot has the most chances to join our crew she has every point covered she has a sad story basically happening before our eyes i mean pedro dying in front of her eyes and she has to continue pedro's will also so she has this inherited will in her that is also very important because basically all of our straw hats have inherited will for someone from some very important figure in their life and i don't think we have this in tama we have this in yamato somehow because she is kind she kind of inherited will from odin we could say not directly though they didn't know each other she only saw his execution but you know what i mean but carrot yes she had pedro in her life she also has this dream of traveling around the world to see the world she is crazy strong especially in her sulong form but even without this she can be easily distinguished from other girls on our crew she has a unique design she's fans favorite everybody loves her her power is pretty interesting this, this mean electricity power and her being able to enter so long will also add like more possibilities more wild cards for our crew in huge battles she already sailed with our crew she already has established dynamics with other members of our crew so she traveled with us just like vivi for example unfortunately vivi only joined as an honorary member she couldn't sail with us but she is still a member of straw hat pirates in our hearts could the same happen to carrot will she remain on zoo and will become kind of an honorary member i don't think so will she become not an akama but a part of a grand fleet with some minks yes it could happen it could happen but i really can see her joining our crew especially since in my eyes she already has a role in the crew i think i said this numerous times she's going to be a lookout in crow's nest not Zoro who is always sleeping not anyone else but actually Parrot she already showed in whole cake how good of a look out she can be so I think it's kind of set in stone this role for her look out in crow's nest her dream her inheriting will from Pedro bringing diversity on the crew already she's our friend she has dynamics with all the members of our crew I think out of these three candidates yamata tama and carrot i think carrot has the most chances if there will be someone joining our crew in wana in my eyes it will be carrot but at the same time we can't forget that yes jinbei is part of our crew he was invited he agreed everyone sees him as part of the crew but we didn't get the chance to like, invite him in officially to celebrate this addition to the crew like for example in thriller bark with brooke he had this adventure on Thriller Park with our crew. Luffy invited him to the crew, but only in the end, like we had this celebration and he became officially a part of our crew. Like we had something like that, but we didn't have that with Jimbei yet. So if Jimbei has this celebration and official join our crew here in Wana once we celebrate our win against kaida and maybe even big mom possibly then it will be too soon 
to, to someone else to join because we just celebrated gym bay why would we celebrate someone else right away or will it be like two members joining right away simultaneously i'm not sure how this will look what are your thoughts do you think there will be a new straw hats do you think it will be someone like yamata tama or carrot or do you have someone else in mind share your thoughts in the comments down below that's it for now Thank you for watching and see ya!